Hey guys, I'm Athena Lawton, designer and stylist, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this moon goddess crown. So the main ingredient in this recipe is zip ties. I actually use five different sizes. Starting at the center with the largest size of zip ties, I worked my way outwards, getting smaller and smaller, and then larger again. But then when I made the next row of peaks, I used less of the large zip ties. So you can see I only used two, where the first time I used three. And so then the next time we go back out again, this time I'll just use one of the larger zip ties instead of two. So this variation in texture is gonna help it feel like a radiating beam of light. So then we're going to take the biggest zip tie of all. I used a really gigantic zip tie here. And then I just put a, a row of eight inch zip ties onto it. So this time, not varying in size, just a solid row of eight inch zip ties. And this is gonna create the back layer for the crown. Now using two different sizes of plates, I'm just gonna place down my larger plate and trace it with some Taylor's chalk. And I'm using um, EVA foam here, but you can also use craft foam, or you can use cardboard or foam core board, any of those will be fine as well. And then I place my smaller plate on top and trace that, and that will give you a perfect moon shape. Now grab your hot glue gun, and using the glue, you're just going to create some texture on the surface of the moon. So I was thinking about the craters of the moon, but rather than trying to do anything perfect, it's gonna look great if you just sort of do some random overlapping squiggles and swirls. And then as you add more texture and you paint it later, it's gonna look amazing. So just don't stress about this step too much. It doesn't need to be perfect and it shouldn't be perfect. You can also interpret this step completely differently than I did. And you could do an intricate design on there. You could even write something on there using the glue. So just have fun with it. And then, I took some different sizes of pearls and I sprinkled them throughout, putting some larger pieces scattered throughout the center and then a lot of small pieces towards the points. And these are all going to be painted over silver as well, but it just gives it an added dimension and makes it feel more like a piece of jewelry than a flat object. Next, we paint the moon. I used a silver spray paint for this. And then paint the radiating beams of light with the silver as well. And then using a flat gray, I painted the back row and did a blue ombre on the top. Then I hit some pieces of polyfill with just a few hits of blue and purple spray paint. Now's the time to attach the back layer to the front. And for that, you're going to need some ribbon. I used silver to match the crown. And then I just did a, a row of glue and then wrapped that in ribbon for extra security. And also to cover the seam and the glue. So just go ahead and do that on both sides. And now the fun part. So I placed my moon to figure out where I needed the glue to be and then put rows of glue on the spikes that the moon is gonna be sitting on.
And now that the moon is placed, I flipped it over to put the battery pack that will be the stars. So I used a battery operated LED light string that has 16 feet of lights. And then I once again put glue on the spikes themselves that the pack was going to lay on top of. So place this pack as close to the headband as possible because it is the heaviest part of the crown. So it, it's going to need your head for support. If you place it any higher on the moon, your crown is gonna have a lot of trouble staying on your head. Now this is really the most fun part. It's time to place the clouds. So I placed them one at a time, sandwiching some between the two layers. And you kind of impale the cloud on the spikes of the crown and create variations in texture by having some of them in front, on the, in the foreground, on the radiating light, and some of them in back. And it makes this crown really three-dimensional. And once you have all your clouds placed, you can take your stars and so what I did was I wrapped the wire around my finger to create bundles, and then I pressed the wire flat. And then I had little sections that were easier to place behind the, the clouds. And I didn't want any stars to be showing from outside of behind the clouds. So that's kind of how I planned my placement, was just every time there was a light, it would be appearing from behind a cloud to sort of soften and diffuse it. And so once I got all of that placed, I did a few dots of glue in each section just for added security. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to see more videos of me making arts and crafts projects. And head over to my TikTok where I teach tutorials in 60 seconds or less.